Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we'll do some tips and tricks on the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. So Redmi Note 9 Pro Max comes with the MIUI 11 and we have the Android 10 out of the box. So this device comes with a lot of additional features. So we'll be explaining some of the additional features, some of uh, the features which you can get the better out of the, out of the device. So those are the things we are going to explain in this video. So first step, uh, let's uh, look at the notification sheet. So here we have the quick toggles. So there are lots of toggles available. Uh, you can uh, basically have the screen record at the dark mode. Uh, so a lot of things are included. So if you click the edit button here, so you get uh, the, this option to edit the no toggles. You can add uh, additional options. You can save the options. Once you're saved, you can click uh, yes. So these are the options you can uh, save uh, or rearrange uh, these toggles. So that's something uh, which is quite useful. Now, if you just uh, swipe here, you get these settings. Now in the settings, uh, there are some additional options. One is uh, the screen layout. We'll just come a bit closer. So the default uh, set, you can set the default screen uh, because there are multiple home screens available. You can set the default home screen. There is some trans uh, transition effects. So uh, switching between uh, different home screen, there are some options. Then home screen layout. So right now it's four by six. That means four uh, uh, icons, then uh, six uh, rows. So that's the option. You can go with the five by six option as well. So that's another useful option. Then you can lock the home screen layout if you are if you don't want apps to move uh, from uh, I mean from while uh, uh, working with it, you can just lock the screen layout. Then if you go to the more, uh, we have again uh, the option to show the memory status. This is useful uh, uh, when you're doing uh, uh, the multitasking. You can see here this will show the uh, uh, memory status here. So we'll just uh, show you that once again. So we'll just uh, show you again. So now if I select here, you can see that the memory status is shown here 3.7 gigabyte out of the 6 gigabyte is available. So uh, that's another useful option. So once you're done, you can click here. Now next, uh, let's uh, go to uh, the uh, gallery. Now here another useful option is that you can set a video wallpaper. Say for example, I've just got this video. Now you can see here uh, set as video wallpaper. So if you want uh, a video as a wallpaper, this option is quite useful. But remember video wallpaper will take up more memory. So uh, if you're okay with that, then you can set this as wallpaper. Uh, that's another useful feature available in MIUI 11. Now next, uh, let's go to uh, the settings. So here uh, there are lots of options to choose uh, and we'll just go uh, to options one by one. So first up, uh, let's go to uh, the connection and sharing. So here we have the me share option. So if you want to share some files with other smartphones, uh, say for example, if you want to share with uh, other Redmi phones, Oppo, Vivo or Realme phones, you can use this me share. Me share is very fast uh, uh, application which allows you to transfer files pretty fast. So that's one feature. If you want to share files uh, uh, pretty fast, uh, then uh, me share is one really useful option. Next, let's go to the display settings. So here we have the reading mode, uh, which is self-explanatory. We are not going into the reading mode. Uh, we have the color scheme. So you can uh, go with uh, either saturated colors or you can go with the auto colors. So saturated colors, as the name indicates, it will be like vivid colors, enhanced colors. You can also go with the standard colors. So you can see that uh, the difference here. You can also select uh, the color tone, warmer color tone or cooler tone or the default tones. So those can be selected in the display settings. Now, as I said before in uh, our previous videos, there is dark mode available. So you can just turn on the dark mode. So there you go. That's the dark mode. Uh, if you want uh, to uh, schedule the dark mode, that option is also included here. Now notch. So this device has uh, a small notch. Uh, it's uh, it's a punch hole camera. In fact, so it's the notch. Now, if you want, uh, if you want to hide the notch, uh, you can go here. Uh, there are a few options to hide the notch. One is the regular notch. Then uh, you can hide without moving the status bar. That means the status bar will be on the top as well itself. So just you can see now. Now, if you want to have the status bar below uh, the notch, you can go with that option as well. So right now, no notch. So uh, you can go with whichever options you want. Then uh, notch can be hidden in individual apps as well. So uh, for example, if you don't want a notch in particular app, you can just hide uh, the notch in that particular app. Now you can customize the wallpaper and uh, the themes uh, from the theme store. So those things uh, are self-explanatory. We are not going into that. 
now uh, passwords and security so here we have the fingerprint unlock and face unlock and uh, if you go to the fingerprint unlock so we'll just enter the pin here so here we have the option to uh, use the fingerprint scanner for app lock and uh, fingerprint payments that option is also included so if you are using uh, app lock uh, uh, this is quite a useful option app lock will come to that option later but you can enable uh, fingerprint for app lock as well now uh, since this has a uh, fingerprint scanner on the uh, power button you can have the fingerprint recognition either touch or press both can be enabled uh, either if you just touch on the power button it unlocks or if you want uh, it to be pressed uh, you can enable that as well so that's up to you how you want to have the fingerprint working now face unlock now in the face unlock you can see allow face unlock when the screen lights up this is quite useful because you don't have to manually do that it will uh, unlock as soon as the screen lights up that's a quite uh, useful feature now in terms of the battery performance here you can see you can optimize the battery uh, if your battery performance isn't great uh, in fact this device has a really really good battery performance but in case you're feeling the battery is not that great you can just go ahead and optimize the battery performance you can see which all apps are draining the battery and uh, fix those apps you can see here you can get uh, uh, some additional battery life uh, if you're going with the optimization options then next uh, is the apps so under the apps uh, you have a few options one is uh, the dual app settings so dual apps uh, what it can do is it can enable uh, dual instance of all these apps all the inst uh, installed apps can get you dual instance say for example if you have two facebook accounts you can have a uh, uh, running uh, two accounts running at the same time on this phone by enabling the dual app support that means two instances of facebook, facebook will be there both will be independent and you can log in uh, twice so those things can be enabled for all the apps included so that's something which is really good because uh, miui allows you to uh, have dual apps for all the apps now app lock so this is one thing which we mentioned previously so now we have enabled app lock with uh, the face unlocks we just unlock it so there you go i just uh, used the fingerprint scanner to unlock so now i will just uh, show you the face unlock say for example uh, i mean uh, the uh, lock app so i have locked youtube now now there is also hidden apps say for example if i want to hide an app uh, you can uh, enable this as there are two options one is app lock which will protect your app with passcode or fingerprint scanner the second is hidden apps which means your app will be hidden so those those are the two options so now i just enabled uh, youtube uh, to be locked so now let's just open a uh, youtube application so there you go you can see that uh, uh, it will be asking for the uh, uh, either the pattern or your face data or a fingerprint now let's just uh, enable fingerprint and now it's unlocked so this is a quite useful option this is uh, you can use the app lock here and protect your personal apps now if you go to the additional settings uh, we have uh, the full screen display option that means you can go with the buttons that's the current option or you can go with the gesture so if you want gesture without uh, the navigational buttons you can go with that uh, the gesture support is there uh, on the xiaomi's me i uh, mean redmi note 9 pro max now you can also customize the button shortcut say for example uh, launch camera you can uh, enable what uh, what all functions you want the long press the home button long press the menu button so these things can be enabled you can see there are lots of options turn off screen turn on torch cruise current app open split screen so these things can be uh, enabled uh, three fingers uh, screenshot is there if you just swipe uh, uh, three finger screenshot that's the three finger screenshot option so those things can also be uh, enabled here now there is 100 mode uh, as you know uh, 100 mode allows you to uh, have a smaller screen so swipe left or right from the home button to uh, pull the uh, uh, the 100 mode so we'll just try this so there you go that's the 100 mode so if you just tap here it becomes the regular mode so that's the 100 mode now there is an option to clear speaker so what happens is uh, over a period of time the speaker at the bottom collects dirt and dust so what this uh, does is clear speaker option will uh, play a sound um, for 30 seconds which actually clears the uh, speaker from dust and other options so this you can enable it once you enable you get a sound and it plays for 30 seconds which actually clears the speaker uh, that's what the company claims now there are some special features like game turbo so if you're a person who loves uh, gaming this game turbo option uh, is quite handy there are lots of features being offered in the game turbo now quick replies now quick replies uh, what it does is uh, you can uh, uh, quickly reply to uh, notification uh, messages from whatsapp uh, wechat etc so those uh, uh, messenger apps you can quickly reply that option once you turn it on you can have uh, the quick replies enabled now second space 
so uh, you can um, create a different uh, space on your smartphone for example if you if you want your smartphone uh, to be uh, different for home and work you can have a second space so you can switch between uh, a second space uh, by tapping the fingerprint scanner and uh, whenever you uh, use the fingerprint scanner uh, you can have uh, the protection also for the second space as well so that's quite handy so you can uh, literally have different areas uh, one for work and one for your home usage so that thing can be set with the second space so these are some of the tips and tricks you can try out on the redmi note 9 pro max so this can be applied to the redmi note 9 pro as well so if you have a, uh, either of these devices you can try out these features uh, to get the best out of your mi y11 so that's it for this video this is the signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day